Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Authentic Young, or you can call me Authy for short. Today we're going to hop into Fallout 4 Episode 7. So where we left off is we finally killed Kellogg. <laughs> we got through the whole area there with all the synths and um, made it through barely barely, but we did it. Um, might have been overkill <laughs> on the weapon, but I definitely uh, got rid of him. So while we were there, I managed to pick up um, a whole bunch of stuff, an awesome pistol. I'm really excited about that. Um, and so when we hop in today, I want to actually head into, we left off at the settlement because we had gone back to the settlement and did some like house cleaning and um, checked out some stuff that you guys have in chat and YouTube had mentioned things that I could do there and thank you for that. So I was able to go back and kind of like clean up some stuff there and help the settlers a little bit. Uh, but I need, when we hop in today, I want to head back to the city because there's a couple things I want to do. I want to get some ammo, make sure I have a lot of ammo. Um, so I want to go to Diamond City and grab some of that um, and try out this new pistol that I have. Uh, so where we left off in the storyline is Valentine um, and I took care of Kellogg. Uh, when we came back, we he has some friends that apparently can read memories. And luckily, I picked up some kind of disgusting thing from Kellogg's brain. So we are going to head in. We're going to take that with us, the cybernetics, I think it was. Anyway, we're going to take that with us and um, head in to meet i took actually i took um piper with me uh back to the settlement just so i get to know her a little better so we're gonna meet valentine at this place where his friends are and see if we can get more information on sean so let's head in and uh and get to it see you in there and ew ew and we're heading in to part seven, the wasteland is home to a variety of dogs, from vicious wild curs to attacked hounds. Ew. All right, so we're in the settlement, and we should be all rested up. And what we're going to do is we are going to actually head out. Well, I don't think I have any food on me. Well, check this. So I can just get water. <laughs> nice. Drinking water resources health. Drinking unpurified water causes radiation damage. Cool, but there's like no bucket or anything there, so just making it wet. I'm not really sure how that works. I'm guessing you put a bucket or something down. It looks like I can't make anything. I don't have anything on me. Okay. Yeah, we're going to exit. And then Piper and I are heading back to town. I thought... I was going to change my gear, though. I could have sworn apparel. I think Kellogg had some cool stuff. Yeah, Kellogg's outfit. And then for my... I mean, this... What does Kellogg's outfit do again? 30% against radiation and 30 damage resist. I think that's what the little... I don't know what the little... No, 5% against damage radiation. I don't know what the 30 is. Damage resist. Oh, maybe it's like magic. 30 against like magic stuff and 30 against <laughs> like basic armor. I don't know. Maybe it is magic resist. So when I put that on, I still... I can't have... I think maybe I'll put a red bandana on. It doesn't do anything for me, but it probably looks cool. I do like the goggles. I might wear goggles too. Or a Fedona hat. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what the red bandana looks like. Oh, well, maybe not. I can't spin around to see the front of her. She's in punching mode, which I don't even know how I did that, but that's cool. Cool. She looks better anyway. Hidden. Zoom in. Before I think I just like moved around here. If I hold Z. <laughs> Maybe the middle mouse button? Oh, it is the middle mouse button. Well, kind of. Okay. Let me just escape this. Alright, now I can go around. 
I don't think I like the bandana. We're going to go with, let's see, road leathers, hood, got the hat. We'll just go with goggles. And make sure the red bandana is off. Okay. There. <laughs> Better. <laughs> just to keep her eyes safe. All right, Piper, let's head to town. We are going all the way down here. No, we want Diamond City. Wait, talk to the doctor. Oh yeah, we're going all the way. We can just go right there. Not yet. Diamond City. Let's go to the market. We can go right in there? Yeah, let's go to the market. Cool. With Sniper Perk, you can hold your breath longer while aiming. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't even know you could hold your breath. Okay, okay. Oh, it's daytime here. Nice. Oh, there's first aid back there. Does that mean this is the doctor area? Let me just turn down the camera. Okay. There's some chatter going on over there. I kind of feel like we should listen. Okay, how do I do... Okay, so I need blood pack and steel and antiseptic. Where am I going to get that stuff? I know Paul was mad, but it's not like him to just disappear like that. Bear? Hi, sir. Are you a doctor? New file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Um, facial reconstruction. I'm gonna borrow I need with you. Some supplies, doctor. All right, but go easy on the chems. Oh, what do you got here? He has some stuff in here. I'm looking for 44s, I think, and I only have 24. So I, I need to find some... I'm going to double check my weapon and make sure that I have it on me. <gasps> I want those. Um, I will accept all of those. Nice. Okay, that's awesome. Ooh, I can make my own if I buy stuff off him. That's good to know. No, I, I want to keep going. Bye. Uh-oh, I think I bought something I didn't want. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. <laughs> okay. Now let me just make sure I did that right. <gasps> Inventory. What do we have for aid? 12 stim packs. Yay! Okay, what do we have for weapons? Kellogg's pistol. Yes. Okay, damage 57. I'm super excited about that. So... We need to find the armory guy. He must have a shop around here somewhere. Oh. This might be him. Let me see. Girl, right? I am. Hi. Uh, new girl. The new girl. Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Coffee. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. Um, yeah, let's barter. Let's see what you got. Everything hand tool. I need some 44s, apparently. I need some... You don't seem to have any of this stuff, though. Oh, but you got some other stuff. What is this? Damage 13. Old Faithful 34. Double damage if the target is at full health. That's cool. You've got some good stuff. Uh, let me go back up to ammo, though. I'm pretty sure... Why don't I check? Let's leave here. Um, exit. 
And then let's just make sure. I'm pretty sure I already checked this. But I want to triple check. Okay, so we need 0.44s. Hmm. Maybe they're easy to make. Okay. This you can't really do. It doesn't look like you can do ammo here. All right. Well, you? I don't know you. I don't know you either. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and head out. I think we have enough stuff on us. Well, let me sell some stuff. Safety, oh, let me check my stuff. Let you stay in cover and out of sight. But you might want a secondary weapon for flexibility. Yeah. I like that idea, but I have lots of weapons right now. I have... I'm doing okay on weight. Rifle. I'd like to know, like... So, so it looks like this one I have 272 available. So I think I'm okay there. Alright, so let me just make sure these are on cue. Like this. It's got to be number one. And then... I don't need this anymore. I could probably get rid of those two. Um, this I can have as number two. Laser. That uses cell and that uses cell. This one will be number two. Oop, I already did that. <laughs> this one we're not going to use right now. This one also uses cell. That one's even better. 17, right? Hmm. No, I'm not going to put that one on there. Um, pipe, pistol. Sure, we'll put that number three. Okay. We should be good to go. And it looked like we could just actually teleport to the house. Talk to the doctor. Okay, we can teleport kind of close. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Wait, what happened when I said I teleport? Did it say I can't? Huh. Let me get over here. Let's go this way. Maybe we have to be outside of the city. I don't think so, though. Let me check while we're here. Maybe we just have to zoom in a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I've not discovered. How many times am I going to click it before that? Before I read that little thing? Okay, so it looks like I can go to one of these two. We'll go to this one. Okay, that makes sense. I would delete this part out, but I'll let you guys see. <laughs> this is how I play. <laughs> that thing looks cool, actually. That's how I think that cars should be. Just hop into it, have a little TV there, little couch. You don't have to drive, just chill. Let it take you where you want to go. But I can't tell. I think that just might be something for your home. You just go inside and lay in it. Kind of cool. Maybe it could be under, like underwater too. That'd be kind of neat. All right, Piper. We are going this way. If we see anything on the ground, <gasps> we're gonna sneak over here. We don't need to get in a fight. I'm gonna try. I also want to grab. I want those bobby pins. I'll take those. I'll do like a quick save. <gasps> Piper! <laughs> oh no! Wait. Wait, what was it on? I even forgot what my numbers were. Oh, this is my main weapon. This is amazing. Okay, cool. 
is now. Okay, can we try to be quiet though? I forgot to put a scope on it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Hold breath? I'm holding my breath when I do that? Let's get a little closer. Okay, we got this. It's so wobbly. Oh. <laughs> Let's go this way. <gasps> Am I going to fall through? Oh, no. <gasps> oh, gosh. I think I'm stuck. <laughs> Oh gosh, they're right there. <gasps> no! Jeez. Okay. Oh wait, I can bat. I forgot about that. And enter. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Take that! Alright, what do you have for a weapon? Pipe pistol. Nah, I don't need it. Who said that? I could take one of those. I don't think I need that. Oh, Where's Piper? Oh gosh. I win again. What's going on? Where are you, Piper? What is that monkey? Where did she go? Oh, he's over there. Yeah, dude. Super mutant skirmisher. Mm, I was just kidding. Just kidding. Nothing to see here. I'll take whatever's in here. Ooh, that stuff looks good. No, that's impossible. He'll never find me. I'm just going to take a nap. Where did Piper go? Why does this guy want to fight me? Oh, he's still over there. Um, I'll take that. Mm, I'll take that. We're actually heading this way. I don't know where Piper went. Wait. We gotta go down, I guess? Alright, let's go around and then down. Maybe it's under here? I don't know. I seriously don't know where Piper is either. Oh, there she is. Oh, did you fall down, Piper? Where were you? Oh gosh, there's some guys over there. No, thank you. Back on the trail. 32. We're getting close. <gasps> no! Okay. No! Oh gosh! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! So many rads! And where's the other one? Okay. Oh! Ew! What is wrong with my body? Okay. This is where we know. We're just going to do this real quick. We need like... Oh! Nope. Let's do Q. No, not that! Q! One, two. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. They're rough. Load up, load up. Oh, oh no. Is that our friend? What is happening right now? Let me get over here. Do this. I don't know where Piper is, but that's like a whole bunch of crazy over there. Okay. Done. Reload this. This weapon is way better than my old weapon. But I'm going to be out of weapons or ammo soon. <gasps> where is that coming from? And where is Piper? There you are. Danger. Where are they shooting from? Maybe they're shooting from on top? I head over here. I'll just come over here. I want to mute. I want to like get that guy though. He probably has some cool stuff on him. A pelvis bone? And then what do you have in you? Mm, I don't need that stuff. Okay, how close are we? 21? We're just going to hide through here. Why? Can we even go that way? Do we have to go this way? Can we go through there? Okay. Looks like we gotta go that way though. But I think maybe we have to go around this way. <laughs> Detected. Impossible. Oh, I think there's a doggy over there. What was that? Hey! They're Sorry, doggy. I don't trust. Oh. <laughs> Ew. <gasps> I'm out. Okay, we'll just Oh! Jeez. This weapon is pretty good, I'm gonna say. Ew, the legs are twitching. That's so gross. I might be getting close to no more ammo. Just switch weapons. Did I just do a full circle? Where is this place? Why am I getting further away? Seven. Let's go back this way. Oh, <gasps> yes, please. Twenty-one. I don't know if we can get out this way though. We kind of might be trapped in here. We have to go across that bridge again. Okay. I guess we're gonna go back this way and see if we can get any closer. <laughs> we'll find it. <laughs> Eleven. So it's got to be like right on the other side of this. Is this a door? Watch out, watch out. The door is like right over there. Huh. How are we going to get in there? Let's go around here. Killed these guys. So we kind of went all the way around. It's getting dark too. <laughs> we 
You gotta go that way. Like, it's right in that junk area. Go back this way. It's not gonna be down. Oh, oh. We're just gonna keep moving. Maybe it's down here. You'll be fine, Piper. I'm gonna take the elevator. I'm sure it's in here. <laughs> this definitely seems like the place. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh <gasps> no! Oh my gosh! I just wasted. Did you see that? <sighs> um. Oh, phew. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna bring up that Q, the quick Q. Oh! Now, if I'm up here, maybe we can see, like, where we have to go. So it's this way. Yeah, so we want to go. I wonder why we're on the top here. This is kind of crazy. Okay. 57. What is this place? Oh my gosh. I think we're just gonna have to... This place is a wreck. 52. What if we jump down there? Will we get hurt? Oh, yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Maybe I can go someplace that's closer. I was so close. I saw the door, but it was like on the other side of something. And now I'm out of like my good, my good weapon. All right, Piper, let's go back to the bridge and see if that'll take us there. We got this. It's right there. I don't know how to get there though. And if I bring up the map, we can't really like zoom in. Hmm. How do we get over there? It looks like there's an entrance that way. There's just a... We can't walk through here anywhere. So we have to go this way. Jingles, the monkey! Go up. Make sure there's no doors along here somewhere that I'm missing. And we can try the bridge. Maybe we can jump down over there somewhere. Let me take a drink. go through this way. I'll take that. This was, we were here before, but I don't think, I thought maybe we could go in that door. Oh, I could sleep. Take that. 
the straw pillow. Nah. If we just jump down there, we're just going to be down to where we were. So we're going to head back down here. Interesting. There's like all these little areas. Hmm. We got to go that way, though. Maybe this goes up. Let's see if this goes up. Going down. Oh! <gasps> no, I want to go up. Ground floor. Okay. Maybe we can find some stuff in here. A dinner fork. Nice. Oh, I'm going to take the teddy bear. I don't need an eight ball. I also don't need, ooh, pork and beans. Yeah, I'll take that. Wait, if I hold down tab. Yeah, I'll take all these. <laughs> I'll eat whatever now. I'm not shy. I, I've lived here long enough to know. I can't be picky. Won't be able to pick this. Oh, I need to get better at lock picking. Bobby pin. Oh, I want the dress. You never know when you could use a nice dress. Read. Sure. The October Classic. Sunday, October 31st at Easy... Oh, 2077. Easy City Downs. Presented by Fallon's Department Store in association with the Boston Jockey Club. With a total purse of $450,000. World-class races. That's awesome. I'll take it. Um, yeah, I'll take all the food. Sorry to whoever was using this as their stash. Buff out? Um, I feel like I could use that. What is that? A noodle cup? So cute. Cool, cool. You never know when you can use a noodle cup. <gasps> okay. Pack of cigarettes. Alright, I guess we're gonna go. Should I do a quick F5? I kind of feel like I should. But then, like, <laughs> what happens when we get on the other side here? And I need to get out. Like, it's a wrong choice. We'll see. We'll see. I think these loading screens are a good time to take a take a drink. So today's drink is iced tea that I make myself. I put a little lemon in it today. And then I also have coffee too, because I haven't finished my coffee this morning. And I love coffee. I have a handy dandy little warmer over here that keeps it nice and warm for me. This is a really long loading screen. I do not. I'm getting a little nervous on what's on the other side. Might have to edit this part out. <laughs> uh, oh, I hear noise. Okay. Have we been here before already? Can't even tell anymore. There is a tower found. I don't know if we should listen to it. Lost. That's that's where we were before, right? We were just on that bridge. Oh! <gasps> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that music freaked me out. Why is it danger? Why, Piper? Why? Why is there danger over there? I think we have to go that way. Oh! Oh, that was Piper. Okay. Where? Where do we go? Oh, I can try, though. Oh, I 
like Piper. She's like, you know what? Danger. And we're out of that, so. Oh, nope. I can't do Q here. Yeah, I know. I know I don't have ammo. I was trying to do that the whole, like, I have to hold down Q. No, how do I get my... Oh, gosh. I was trying to get that thing up where I can just click the weapon. Stat. Inventory. I need something. Ooh. We won't use that right now. That'd be probably pretty good, though. Minigun. We'll use this. Damn it, this one. Piper! Oh gosh. We still have another one to do. Where are you? Where are you? Oh! <laughs> I have to load this every time? <gasps> okay. There must be another guy up there. What is this? A meat bag? Ew. Why do you guys have meat bags? <gasps> okay, let's go see if we can find some cool armor or something. We need that and that. Ew, we'll take some dog meat. I find that I get myself in trouble and need to eat disgusting things. It must be upstairs, huh? Let's reload this. I think it only has like two rounds or something crazy. Should I wait for Piper? I'll take that. I wonder why that thing had like a mark on it. Like a little star or something. <gasps> where is that coming from? Where are you shooting, Piper? She's like... I saw her moving. Yeah, you see something in there too, don't you? We're going up. Exactly. <gasps> Alright, I'm going to do a little five, and then I think I'm going to go back down and kill that guy, though. I'm going to open this up. Should I be really doing this right now? <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> I love how it loads <laughs> between each one. <laughs> this weapon is so slow. <laughs> Not worth. What else do I have in here? Grenade. Just my regular pistol. Oh wait! I must have picked up some stuff for my... Where's my Kellogg's? Zero. But then my regular one? Has 49. 10mm. And this has... Oh, 44. Okay, yeah. I'll just use that. It's my handy dandy pistol. <laughs> it was a good try. It was a good try. Okay. I don't know if we have to kill him. I'm gonna say nah. Let's just let's just go this way. I'm gonna take a nap. It looks like we're going to have to fight these guys for some reason. All right, we'll head down. Piper. It is a waste of time. We'll do that from over here again. Let's see. So close. Oh! 
it's okay. I've got a ton of these. Okay. Sweet. Let's reload this. Going further away. Maybe we go over here and take a left. <gasps> you do not. Oh. I guess you do. <laughs> oh gosh. That guy's getting. Oh my gosh. Okay. What about the other guy? Yep, yep. Let's go over here. Me too, Piper. Me too. Oh. <laughs> this is not going to do anything. This weapon. Oh. Oh no. Loaded. I'll get you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> get to a door. <laughs> I need a better weapon. You got me mad. Okay. Cool. We'll take some of those and some of those and some meat. I'll take one of these just in case. Okay, let's head this way. Let's see if we can get there this way. Let's hide though. I don't think we're ever gonna find it. <laughs> he could have given us better directions. Piper is definitely one of, she's, she's, might be a fast, oh, <gasps> she'll just go right in there. No, let me just, uh, let me bring up and see what I have for inventory. And I swear it's Q that you bring up, so I've got one and two, I need something for three. Let's see, this could be a decent three maybe. This one's a cell, but it's like seven damage is not good. Let's um do this for three. Now when I hit three, I feel like that should just come out. That one's good. I don't have any mini nukes though. This rifle's 17, not great. I need to figure out how to get ammo for that gun. Minigun, blah. Oh, this one's got 40 damage. Okay, that's going to be on four. So we should be able to switch between three and four now. Okay, cool. We don't really have to go that way. We have to go this way. Area. Nope, it's not. We're fine. We're just sneaking through. We don't even want to go there. We just want to go this way. To the good neighbor. <laughs> to the good neighbor over here. Okay, we're close. Okay, I think we made it. We made it. I did not think that was going to happen. <laughs> that we were actually going to make it. Oh, wow. All right, I'll put this away. Hey, hold up there. Hey. First time in good neighbor? Yeah. You can't go walking around without insurance. Insurance? Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. 
someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. Wait. You soft hand. What are you saying? You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, sister? Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident <laughs> yeah, take your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone I feel you. Welcome. Good neighbor. Good neighbor. That what you call this place? That's right. We okay. cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. I have a knife too, buddy. Just saying. Hey, anyone want his stuff? <laughs> Say that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not too. Uh, too ashamed or shy or whatever the right word is. A new player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun and games. Hey. Maybe we'll be good friends. You never know. You never know. Piper isn't talking in here, though, so that should tell me something. You try chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Who's talking? Keep that in mind. Okay. Good talk. Good talk. Um. Shows the Quehan up to go that way. Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. I hear ya. I think we gotta go through that door, but. Now I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time, but a yeah. flying ship? <laughs> Yowza. We didn't get to the top of this town by playing fair. Okay. Yeah, so you guys haven't really seen the ships either so much, huh? Whatever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that we come in peace malarkey. Um, that's fair. They've got some serious technology, though, because I don't know if you noticed, their we're living in, like, this, and they have uh, flying ships, so I don't know if we're on whose side we should be on. <laughs> I don't know. I, I hear you, though. But your friend just stabbed someone outside, so there's that, too. So why is there two things here now? We're just, we need to go to, um, data? Quests. We're gonna undo that one and just do dangerous minds. Okay. Memory den. Oh, this must be it. What's that? All right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. This guy's kind of into himself. Is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. Okay. You me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big okay. friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? Well, you just the killed a guy. Their sins. That's right. Who okay. said it? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. Some jet. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Okay. Not the super mutants. Not, not the even Raiders. Those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. I love Diamond hey, City. I want to live there. Beef with I'm not a tool. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. Okay. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts like what? pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of Piper, shit. Piper, what do you think? The only way to stop She's it like, I'm freaking out of here. <laughs> can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not, not us. us. And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock. 
For the people! For the people! For the people! He got silent during the speech. Oh, he does. Hey. So, where's your face? Out of curiosity. You scared yet? <laughs> I don't really know much about the ghouls or like like maybe they're missing uh why I mean I watched the show I'm almost done with it but I, I know that there's ghouls in there I just don't know their history super well yet okay well well Mr. Valentine I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. May have walked Whoa. out of the den, Irma, but I'd never it's walk Valentine. out on you. Hmm. Oh, is he flirting? downstairs, you big flirt. He is. <laughs> I'm telling your secretary. Now you get what you need. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. I'll talk to you. Where are we going, Valentine? Want to say hey to me or anything? Hey, Valentine. Let's go talk to Amari. Okay, fair. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. She has a dog over here. Hey, Dr. Amari. Um. Let's see. I'd like to extract You're the some ones memories. who can extract memories from a brain, right? Normally, we only allow our clients to experience their own memories. Now, what's this all about? We need a deep dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. You're useless now. Hmm. You can help us, Please. I feel like. You gotta they be able to told me us. you're the only one who can you make this work. You could do it. You could do it. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. Oh. You need this. And so do we. Fine. I'll take a look, but no guarantee. She breaks easily. <laughs> Do you have it with you? Um. Yeah, here you Here's go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This Ew. Is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. A neural interface, that's surprised. what it's called. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Hmm. Go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Hmm. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Don't mess this up. No. I don't know. Will this work? I say thanks. That's really sweet, hey, Nick. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right. Let's do Agreed. this. Whenever you're ready, you Mr. Hiding? Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see. Okay. <laughs> but she's always looking for something. I like her. Me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change what in your cognitive in functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. No! The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. Damn. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. A lock? How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. Hmm. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it. But 
What have we used to? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. What'll happen? Any idea of what I'm going to see in there? I have no clue. But okay. considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. Let's do it. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. All right. See you on the other side. See you on the other side. <laughs> Which one do I get to? I'm going to sit in this one. This one looks nicer. Is this where she wants me, I hope? Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Okay, the here we go. Activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We are going to load you into okay. the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Oh, this is cool. Can you hear me? Yeah. Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Okay. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Do I go to it? Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. I see that light over there. Now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. That's too much on a little kid. Aww. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. People like to talk and hope someone else... Mom knew how it was. Okay. She wasn't... Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Huh. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like, before the big war. 
Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. That's sad. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Okay. Try that one. All right. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now with Is the baby? Baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. <gasps> I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. Is that John? No, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. Aww. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. Oh, I guess not. Before. I guess that's Mary. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. Mm. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. Oh, is it California? Apparently? That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Okay. So I take it he had a baby, Mary? How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Oh no. Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. What? Somebody killed his family? Who? Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. That's crazy. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Wait. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, 
You're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748. Oh! <gasps> Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Wow. We're running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual <sighs> override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Aww. Don't go near it. Okay. This is the one. Here. Open it. Oh gosh. I don't want to see it again. <laughs> my baby. My husband. Is it Almost. I know it's going to happen. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. No. Come here, baby. No. I got it. Let the boy <gasps> go. I'm only going to tell you once. I know it's going to happen because I've seen it. Uh. God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. Where are you taking What's my baby? Up? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. People are like waking up. Burn. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. Yeah. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Hmm, that's so sad. <gasps> Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. What? So, good news, I think. He's so big. But not super old. Put the gun away. Kellogg. <gasps> it's okay. One of these days you're going to get your head blown off just barging in here like that. It's Sean. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So All right, I just got to say so I can see time. him. New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the okay. glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay.
He's so little. He's still relatively small. Okay, okay. What's gonna happen? X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Oh. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Exit. Crazy. Now I know roughly the age of my boy. That's huge. Okay. I wasn't sure like if he was going to be 200 and a ghoul or if he was going to be like one. So it seems like he's still not sure of the age. Anywhere from I don't know what kind four of to procedure 13. <laughs> but still. Ever done this before. How do you feel? I feel okay. Yeah. The side effects? Um, what are the side effects? Am I okay? Are you seeing anything... anything bad? Don't be alarmed, but I honestly don't know what to look for. As I said before, this is uncharted territory, but your neural and physiological readings have returned to normal. From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Are okay. you ready to talk about what happened in there? Yeah. Um, Kellogg's I life. I saw Kellogg's life. It's so sad. The man who ruined my family. The man I killed. That's right. He was a human being just like the rest of us. And he had reasons for being what he was. However cruel. How does that make you feel? Um. I don't know. I don't know. I feel bad for him, but he I'm... killed my... I'm not husband, sure. Husband, so I'm. I don't know. Hate him. There's any right way to feel. Either. We're getting off track. The important thing is that we discovered the Institute's greatest secret: teleportation. Yeah. The only question is, what do we do now? I, uh, I don't know. There is the guy in the that scientist. Yeah, Kellogg the scientist. was supposed to track down Virgil. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Yeah. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Hmm. Not even if they were desperate. Why? Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. Oh. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new, but the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why Ooh. it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. It's a perfect hiding spot. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. Oh. If you're going to follow him. Well, how do I do that? Anti-radiation, I, I guess. that much radiation, doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radex, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. Oh, a gosh. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would be perfect. This is crazy. Oh, no. No, I'm not going there. We, no, we're going there. That's crazy. It and is crazy. And into a dead man's memory wasn't crazy? <laughs> You've already done the impossible. Who's to say God won't let you do it again? Look, think it over if you have to, but it's the only path I can offer. Through the glowing sea to Virgil. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Always on good behavior, aren't you? All right, we're going to the glowing sea. Oh gosh, it does not sound good. Oh, 
What did she say? I try to be I good. Try to be? Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I agree. Look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. It's understandable. Must be exhausting. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary knowing True. what's really out there. True. A night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Hmm. I agree. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, yeah. they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh... Damn. One day, our dad turns up dead. Hmm. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night, let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried wow. talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. Wow. What happened then? What happened after that? We may do. Sis was still pretty young at the time, and Mom was out of the picture. So we got by on the kindness of others for a while. Eventually, I saved up enough to book us both passage with a caravan, and then we moved on up to the big city. Called it home ever since. I like it there, too. Sorry about your dad. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right... That's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone. It is nice to talk to someone. Who actually seems to get it. Yes. You know? So, should we head out? I knew we'd be BFFs. I could feel it, Piper. Let's me take stuff. So that means maybe I could take this stuff without it being, ooh. That's awesome. I feel like I'm gonna need all of this. And these. Thanks. Yep. Certainly seen better days, hasn't it? Yep, I need all of that. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, thanks for all of your help. Oh, corn and psycho. Perfect. Wonder glue? I don't know, I feel like it would be helpful. I don't know why though yet. Still figuring out the tablespoon. That's so weird. So weird. Alright, yeah, let's go talk to him. Was he in here? Or did he, they said upstairs, but there's an upstairs upstairs. I just want to see what's up here. Ooh. I'm not going to do that. I kind of want to, but I'm not going to. I can't sleep in her bed. I mean, she gets both beds? Okay, so all this stuff is red. I'm not going to take it. Just checking stuff out. You know how, you know how I am. 
check out people's computers when I can. What's that? Nick. Hey, Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? Uh, you feeling okay? You, um, you feeling all right, Nick? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Sounded like Kellogg. You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or ah. I could head back to Diamond City, since you've yeah. got company already. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm keeping Piper. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck <laughs> out there. You know I'll where to find me. Yeah. Piper and I are doing just fine. I want to talk to you, the though. Mary Dan's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. Oh. Irma. Oh, enjoying yourself and good neighbor? It's yeah. a heck of a town, ain't it? It's nice. It's nice. Alright, let's see. What's next on the agenda? We have to go to the glowing sea? I have no idea where that is. Alright. Piper, <laughs> let's just let's just go. Let's do it. We don't have a suit, but maybe we'll find one on the way. Can't believe it. He looked just like Sammy too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town. They got another thing coming. What am I gonna tell his mother? Hey, just a friendly neighborhood watch. Shooting down institutes. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Stay like... free, sister. Hell of a load you're carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. Hmm. Maybe we leave this way? Old state house? Check it out over here. Oh, this is the way out. Cool. I want to talk to this guy anyway. She's the dame who writes public occurrences, right? Yeah. Good stuff. I always did appreciate good investigative journalism. That's cool. Lady, I need to be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered right now. <gasps> Fair. You got a lot of stuff here, dude. I should, I like, I would really like to take it because I'm doing this mission where toy alien, there's so many things to take. I won't though. I won't take them. I'm tempted. Oh, <gasps> be careful. You can fall through the stairs. What? I look like a bartender. Take your trouble someplace else. I wasn't even talking to you. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Believe, we'll I guess this is the door outside. Okay. That was an interesting town. I don't know how I feel about it. It didn't give off positive vibes, that's for sure. Ah, you can keep your lasers and thermal pulse, you know. Watch your majigits. A let, me real just, gun shoots. let me check the map and see if, like, tells us where we have to go. Like, what does that say? Oh, gosh. Bullets. Okay. We're leaving. Piper, if I can remember how we got in this place. Memory den. I think we came from this way. Oh yeah, we came from inside the house. That's right. We just went out the wrong door. Okay, let's do that again. We'll go out the front door this time. And we'll start our journey to the sea. 
If you're sticking but around, check over here. join a crew. I hear Bobby No Nose is looking. Always a catch with the No Nos, but she pays. All right. Fair, fair. I probably won't though. <laughs> you guys got a interesting thing going on here, but you made fun of my city that I want to move to. So, you know, I'm not feeling great. Not feeling great about this town. All right. Wait, it says something discounts. Maybe we can buy. Oh, new face walks into my store. I would You're like to buy some stuff. Screaming so. at. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. All right. I'm on a barter. I'll take a look. Sure. Everything's guaranteed to last. Until it doesn't. There. I need 44. Um, I'll take those. Well, yeah, I guess. Because there's no... What is this? Ten millimeter. I'm really looking for forty four. Let's see. Do you have anything that's like um really good with rad stuff? TV dinner. Hmm. I guess I'll wait right now. I guess I don't need anything. What's up? What's up? F does it. Oh, so I play another game where <laughs> F opens all the doors. Um, Star Citizen, if you guys want to know. But yeah, and I hit F there, and that's what pops it up. I always thought it was Q. It's Q to put it in, and then F to pop up that menu. Is that what it is? Crazy. I don't like that. I'm not a fan. A nail, the nail gun is an effective weapon at close range. Ooh, I might like that actually. Also, let me make sure that I don't have to level up. Oh, I do have to level up. <laughs> Two levels, it looks like. So there is a couple things. The path to your closet target is played in vats. Fortune finder. I do like the gunslinger, but I'm not sure I'll use it all the time. Big leagues, rifleman. Oh. Um, there was something. Lead belly. Hopefully, when I see this skill, I'll remember it. I remember somebody mentioning there's a skill I should grab. Uh, it's not standing out to me. Iron fist is not it. Lead belly, that's a good one. Men suffer plus 5% damage in combat. I mean, that seems pretty cool. Oh, stim packs are so 40% of lost health. Can I get that? Yeah, I want that. Commando, scrounger, fortune teller. I do like the gunslinger too. Toughness, pickpocket. It was under intelligence. I cannot remember what it's called. This doesn't scroll anymore either. Bloody mess, sneak. Maybe I wrote it down. Let me just check my notes real quick because I write stuff down when I have to. Uh, nerd rage skill. That's what it's called. I don't see it on here, so maybe it's a it's not one of these. It's something different. I mean, I kind of like just upping that again. This one's good too. Men suffer 5% damage in combat and they're easier to persuade. But I don't I fight a lot of uh mutants. So, that probably doesn't count. I 
could just do the gunslinger and just stick with pistols. Sure, let's do it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, let's bring up the map. Gotta go the opposite way. Kind of. Alright, now let me just make sure that's the only one that's on there. I think it's the only one that's on there. Damn. I'll go on a bit. We're gonna stay hidden. Try to get out of this place alive. Is found. Oh gosh! I don't know if I'm going the right way. Once we get over here, I'm going to check the map again. Yeah, we're going the right way. Okay, just want to make sure that worked. Oh. oh! Okay, this is actually a pretty cool weapon. Oh gosh. <laughs> the slow mo. Okay. Cool. Okay, we're sneaking from now on. We gotta sneak. Okay, that was really loud. That was a little scary. Detected, that's okay. I don't need that stuff. Boston Club. We want to go this way. Like, there's part of me that wants to get out of the city because then I'll be like, yay, we're out of the city. But then there's another part of me that's like, I'm afraid of what's out of the city. So I have mixed feelings about wanting to get out of the city. Huh? I don't think we're going to get past this, Piper. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to... we got to use more of these things. Inventory. We want... Um, this. Hey, something's out there. <laughs> oh, gosh, you're just going right in. Just load that up. Okay. Oh gosh. Maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's a friend. <gasps> Not a friend. <gasps> Jeez. Hope you make your peace. Okay, well, we're gonna go down here. Sure, I'll take the I'll take that. Switchblade. Oh! <gasps> You think? I lost Piper. Where the little bitch go? Over here! No! Not over here! Hey. 
definitely not over here. I'd like to know what the brackets mean. Like when the brackets are close, does that mean I'm in extra danger? Or like when they're far away, I'm in more danger. I'm just trying to get out of the city. I just want to get out of the city. Let's bring up my map and see if I'm getting any closer. Yeah, I mean, going the right way, getting closer. Caution. Okay, it's not danger anymore, so that's good. Yay, there's Piper. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <gasps> Wanna bits. And sure. Is that a body hanging? That's gross. So much fighting going on everywhere. I think we can jump safely. Maybe we can go around. We can try and see if we can go this way. just want to leave the city. <laughs> We're looking to just get out of here. We don't want any trouble. <gasps> oh! Oh, jeez! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a guy over there. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> bad. Oh, hell yes. Okay. Oh, bad dog. Okay, jeez. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> There's nothing to see. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh, you go, Piper. Oh. <laughs> Me too. I'm mad too. Okay. Yeah, we're mad now. I can't run though. Oh gosh. Gosh, that's like hard to control. Oh, you got someone else over there? Oh! Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of. <laughs> what? How about three? Why is three not working? Oh gosh. One? I'll take this. I'll take this. I have to go back to my inventory because when I hit one and three, nothing's coming up. So Q, see, like one, this should be on three. Let's try it, four. Well, you're still here. All right, take that. Where is he? 
Okay, let's use this. There we go. Destroy! <laughs> We'll take one of those. You made a mistake. Now you pay for it. You made a mistake. I'll take that gas mask. Take that. Am I overweight? I'm probably overweight, actually. That's my problem. What you got for me? I gotta trade with you. For something specific? I was wondering why I was so slow. <gasps> okay, that makes sense. Okay. How about you take some weapons here? What is that? Sure, you can hold on to that. Uh, I want those back, actually. Those look good. I'm gonna give you... Um, let's see. You can have the monkey. I'm gonna hold on to that. The dress. Ooh, hold on to these. Um, noodles. Oh, you can definitely have a bunch of those. Um, this one seems pretty good, actually. You can have that. You can have that. What are we down to? Um, I'm gonna keep one of those in case it's good. Take one of those, and I think we're good. You can hold the teddy bear, although that's probably free. You can hold these two. Um, I think we're good now. Okay. Now we're they good too. Nice, you got a lot of stuff in there. Oh! <gasps> Whoops. Be careful. The stairs are slippery. <laughs> Be careful, Piper. I wouldn't want you to fall down. I think we've made it to the outside of the city. Oh, phew. It's like I want to take a breather, but I know I can't. Because something else will attack us. I can't go inside there, it looks like. Oh yeah, I can. Where are you, Piper? We gotta go that way. Okay, actually, this is a decent spot to, uh... To just chill, um, cause we are at the, um, mark where I have to stop for the night. So, but I will pick this up tomorrow and I'm so excited to hop back in cause we are going to go to <laughs> that glowy place. What is the name of the quest again? Let's see the map. It is called, we still have a ways to go. So we're going to try to make it to the glowing sea tomorrow. Um, that seems like a long path. So fingers crossed we make it there and maybe make some progress. Um, yeah, it was a fun, it was fun, like getting into the memories and understanding Kalog more. And finally, we finally have answers about Sean. I think that was my most favorite part. I had no idea how old he was. So like, I am so excited that now I know that there's an age range that he is at. I don't know how long ago the memory was, but she said it seemed pretty recent. So that's really cool. So I'm heading off for the night and um, hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Bye.